Um, okay. Hello? Testing? Okay, looks like we are live. And we're here. And I don't really remember what I was doing last time. I vaguely remember coming up here so that I would remember to go this way. So I will go up and hopefully that is correct. I would have streamed sooner, but I was sick. Unfortunately, it happens. Wow, so that's Grenzel Castle. It's gorgeous. I guess it really is fit for a queen. It's not just pretty, it's also really solidly built. Hmm. Okay. And we just thought we'd try and catch a glimpse of Her Majesty since we're here. Hmm. We're just getting here from Roland. We're taking in the sights. We were wondering if there was a chance we might get a tour of the castle. I'm sorry, but access to the castle is restricted. Really? Ah, dang. There goes my dreams of seeing the queen. Well. She always addresses the people from her terrace during the birthday celebration. You could see her then. Hmm. What? Her Majesty is ill? Or maybe from the shock of learning the whole guards were involved in the terrorist plot. She hasn't been seen much lately. I believe she's resting in her private quarters. It's hard for me to picture someone like that as a terrorist. Hmm. Well, at the very least, it seems clear that they don't think, I mean, the common soldiers don't think that the leadership of the Royal Guard were, are traitors. Majesty is taking sick. Who sings her daily affairs? Hmm. And who is that? Literally. On paper. I can't picture someone like him ever actually making any real governmental decisions. Though I'll admit, I would have thought that the duty would fall to the princess. And you tell me to watch what I say. Yeah, it sounds like the Duke is being a stooge for the Colonel. Um. Hmm. I don't think this idiot will recognize us, but his butler probably will. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace, but I was merely trying to look after your mental well-being. Also, Chloe is totally the princess. For the last few days, you have been in the banquet hall, drinking and singing, consuming 
We'll do simply beer and donuts. We'll read in your morning comics. I feel that it should come as no surprise that you overslept. Silence, Philip! I'm not in the mood to listen to your testaments. As the future king, I can do what I want, whenever I want. Oof. We know. Don't even say it. That was his grace the duke. Acting proxy for Her Majesty. No kidding. Well, that's good at least. <laughs> Colonel Richard of the Arm Royal Army Intelligence Division. Uh-huh. As I thought. Since the Duke is more of a playboy sword, the Colonel handles all the governmental affairs. So... The Duke is a figurehead for the Colonel's de facto coup? I mean, it's not really quite a coup yet, but it's like a step off from it. Well, we learned a few things. Mm-hmm. What's more, no one around him has any clue that he is the one pulling the strings. Being able to control the flow of information must be a... well... Duke is at the fighting tournament. I guess we may as well. It is... yeah. It is east! Okay, so this away, and I expect we will find things in in the fighting tournament. I don't know who else will be here. Um, hmm. Welcome to Grantsville Arena. Would you like a ticket? The preliminaries are in progress right now, but the main event will last for two for three days starting tomorrow. For which day would you like a ticket? Oh, alright then. There's already more they're already more than halfway finished though. Would that be a problem? Okay, bad value, but hey, not my money. I'm sorry, sir. This year, there have been some complications that have made it impossible for us to offer discounts. I mean... Okay. How much money do I have? <laughs> Not very much. Currently, at the arena, we're holding the preliminary matches of the martial arts competition. May I see your tickets? Thanks. Everything seems to be in order. You may enter at your discretion. Uh, yeah, it's pretty big. Let's look around. If you want to watch the preliminaries, you'd best hurry up.
Okay. That goes... Not allowed in there. Okay. Presumably that is where the Duke will be. And over here... Stairs, changing room... Hmm. I wonder how far the prelim rounds go. South side, blue team. Border patrol, second regiment. Captain is second lieutenant Sa Sammy. North side, red team. Racer guild, Grenzel. Branch. Team Captain is Kirk. Sword, another sword, spear, and does Carla have a gun? Yes, she does. Become hard as steel. I cannot help but feel that the braces may have the advantage here. Racer's clean house, I guess. That was such a far away shot. Tita could not shoot that far. Mm hmm. The racers just had so much better, though, as well. I can sort of sympathize with you, Estelle. Although that ship's kind of sailed. <clears throat> Southside Blue Team. Team Raven. Um, are these? It's Zen! I knew it.
That's like nothing. That checks out. Cool. I feel like we're probably going to end up on Zin's team in the tournament proper. That's that's just that's my feeling. Oh, so we only saw like a quarter of the matches. That really wasn't good value. <clears throat> I regret that government affairs forced me to miss the first half of them. But I was here for the second half. And what I saw was an exciting and enjoyable display of technique and talent. The distressing news of recent terrorism activities has had an unfortunate impact on Her Majesty's health. But I ask that you take heart. She has entrusted her governmental duties to me. Dagon, or Danan von Os... Alis? Oslis? Duke Danan. And I will do all that I can to live up to your expectations. Let us all remember the spirit and enthusiasm we feel during this competition, and recall it in the days ahead. I hope you will all enjoy tomorrow's No Hold Barrel Battle Royale! Ha ha ha! Ah, yes! The winner of the competition will not only receive a prize in Mira, but will also get a special gift from me. That this gift is to be a written invitation to a royal court dinner party at Grantsla Castle to be held in three days. Okay. Sadly, Her Majesty's presence will be missed, but it will be attended by and celebrated by persons of great renown. Arrangements have been made for only the finest royal and noble cuisine to be served. I trust that this will serve as incentive for those competing to excel and advance. <clears throat> oh yeah, we are totally going to end up in the tournament. Now, it is... I already thought that would have happened, but now it is clear ha why it'll happen. <laughs> no, that's it, but I hate the idea of leaving someone else to deliver the professor's message. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Hmm. Carla! 
Hi everyone! Congrats on making it through the preliminaries! Oh, hey guys! Yo! You were here to watch the fights? But it's been okay so far. All of our members are in one place. Peace. Master Zin must be worried, though. I don't know if I'd say that, but I know the name. He's a famous bracer in the Republic. People call him Zin the Unmovable. He apparently came to Liberal specifically for this tournament. Then the promoters threw a wrench into the works and changed it to a team competition. Yeah, that it seems like something that the Duke would do. Last minute change to satisfy his ego. Say Well Hmm. Maybe... <laughs> no, we were just thinking. What would you say to team up with Zen in the later fights? Wait, what? Hmm, team up with him. Is that even allowed? No, it's not his fault that the rules of the competition were changed. If one of the core rules can be changed, then I think we've got some wiggle room. Sheriff's is busy, and we haven't been able to get into contact with the gate. I don't think Costius is even in the country. <laughs> if those two joined up, they'd probably be accused of cheating on general principle. Our chance of beating that team would be something like 10,000 to 1. What do you think, Estelle? That sure went from talking shop to something else entirely. I think Estelle is pretty excited about the prospect of participating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! That's it! That's it! Now that's what I'm talking about! Oh, almighty Eidos, thank you so much for your bountiful favor. You've cracked. Think about it. We can be in the martial arts tournament. And we can help Zin in the process. Not to mention, check out that awesome castle. And be part of the big, final, ultimate, super duper intense battle royale! WE CAN KILL THREE BIRDS WITH ONE STONE! <laughs> she does. We haven't even entered yet, much less made it into the final match. It would be nice to be able to handle the professor's request ourselves, though. Assuming we've even made it through. Plus, we can't just leave Zin twisting in the wind. Let's go find him and ask to join his team! Don't confuse the issue with the facts! <laughs> oh, that's a spell. Would you settle down for two seconds, please? Let's go back to the guild and report to Elan. Elnan. He's also the one who most likely to know where Zin is. I see, yes. Zin requested the Bracer send him some helping hands. I hadn't said anything to you guys since you're working on that request from the professor, but thanks to the whim of his grace, we can handle both tasks at once. He 
Do you think? What do you think about participating in the martial arts competition? Well, I think there is merit in allowing a skill, which is practiced, to be used without restraint. And with two bracer teams participating, our chances of gaining access to the castle are doubled. You needn't even get the others involved until and unless you lose. Personally, I think it's a splendid idea. More often than not, he's at the bar down the street. Failing that, he stays at the Republic's Embassy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, by the way, where are you two planning to stay while you're here? Hmm, well, we could stay in a hotel. If I'm not mistaken, the Northern Black Hole is the largest hotel in the entire kingdom. If I may, allow us to cover the cost of your room. The Grenzel Branch can afford it. I consider it a necessary expense in the course of completing the professor's request. I wish I could provide more. I'll book a your room, then. Just give your name at the front desk this evening, and someone will help you. Okay. Bar is... That's the Fisherman's Guild. Um... He can win all win it all by himself. <laughs> Normally I run a booth in Buse, but this year I decided to come out to the capital for some big money. Since we couldn't get into the castle, we went to the arena and watched the tournament. <laughs> Seems my life revolves around trouble. But you're not selling anything. Horrible factory... Weapon shop. Also weapon shop. Where is the pub? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> well, that's... Wait. <gasps> you! Yes, you have, Joshua. You, yes, you have. It's Olivia! I have missed this idiot. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure that I have enough Sepeth to max out his orbment, though. I'm gonna need to investigate that. I guess he really wasn't kidding. Hmm. That was the little number I call Amber Amour. It was originally a simple interlude to an opera whose name doesn't matter. I've infused it with the power of love and devotion, and invite you all to tip your ears and drink deep of that power. <clears throat> I take it all back. He's just a weirdo. Nice to see you again, Olivia. What brings you to the Royal City? I could little resist the pull of this place. It drew me here as surely as the Sirens' fallen tears are swept from the rivers into the sea. So here I stand, set, my raven-topped 
Highness. Reunited with you at last. I have missed you, Olivia. That's enough out of you. If I have to be subjected to this, let's at least sit down for a minute. Acting all smug and dandy, totally oblivious to how tackles you are. Err, razzle frazzle. My dear Estelle, how I've missed that obstinate ir irritability you so thoroughly embody. Hmm, about a month ago, I believe. After we parted company, Sharon and I spent a short yet blissful time in Roland. But alas, the overwhelming spirit of wanderlust that courses through my veins eventually got the better of me. T'was all I could do to pull away from weeping, darling Shara, to protect her from being swept away to this blazing Dazzling wonder. <laughs> it is an impressive skill. I'm betting that she drank you under the table every night until you were finally decided to run off with your tail between your legs. Oh, that's that sounds like it had uh, the pain of truth in it. <laughs> And then you figured you'd try your luck at drinking with the Ina, right? But you didn't know about Ina, did you, Olivier? She's one of Shara's closest friends. Works the information desk at Roland Black Branch. <clears throat> and as far as drinking goes, she's the only person I've ever seen who could add you, Shara. C come now, dear Estelle. I've never met this person you speak of, this Ina. Absolutely not. You might want to try that again, only this time without your voice shaking. <laughs> I'm sure it was a very trying time for him. <laughs> An affinity for spirits greater than even Shara. Hateful inebriation. Why dost thou all Irma, thy darkest agents with smiles so alluring! <laughs> and so begins the tale of Ina, Olivier's most tragic lad. Anyway, you've come after completing your tour of the surrounding regions, I presume. Mayhap you've seen something of interest. Well, we've seen a lot of stuff, but it's not easy to just sum up in a few words. Besides, we're kind of looking for someone, so maybe we can catch up another time. Oh, might I inquire as to whom it is you wish to find? His name is Zinn. He's here from the Calvert Republic to participate in the martial arts competition. We know he spends a good amount of time in the local bar, so maybe you've met him? Ah, yes, I recall him. Large as a bear, with a disposition not to match, thankfully. I have borne witness to his continence on several occasions. But alas, today has yet to bear any sign of him. Please, do not be cruel. Beyond my uses as a traveling companion, I also wish to assist in a manhunt. Unless, of course, you two want to be alone. Oh my, such an unsophisticated child. But when you blossom to your full potential, you shall be a woman to be reckoned with. <laughs> I think you're about to get your being up. <laughs> All of here. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it's 
seems. But Estelle, it's a very shy individual. Okay, let's get back to searching. I guess we're not taking Olivier with us. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, gold, periwinkle. Look at all the colors. Such beauty. I will be with you always. I will be true to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrific. <laughs> hmm. I think time has advanced, so... Let's... let's ask around a little bit. Hmm... <clears throat> no one's up there... And... Welcome! Please take your time and let me know if you need help with anything. Guardsmen stopped coming in here. We lost a decent check of sales. Coup de tas aren't always so good for business, eh? With the queen bedridden and all this coup de tat nonsense, I was beginning to think the martial arts competition would be cancelled. Grand fishing tournament? Oh. I hope that happens so much in the next in one of the next games. I don't think it won't be in this game, but I could totally see that happening in in uh, Trails in the Sky 2 or 3. And I would love it! <laughs> It'd be fantastic. Hmm. Right, anyway, let's go to the next district over. Oh, hello there. Sure, that logic seems sound. Oh, and I am quite out of money. So... What do I need? I might need Earth, I'm not sure. But... High terror alert. Yep. Yeah. 
we usually offer a special assembly for visitors. But with all the bustle of the martial arts competition and the birthday celebration, I'm afraid it's being called off. Cecilia, originally scheduled to arrive at noon, has only just now touched ground. Hmm. That does seem like a waste. Okay, next up would be... I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to get into... Oops! The Empire's... I don't think we can go in here. Wait, no. Wait, what was that? The people out there, Erbonian Embassy, are all very upscale, outstanding people. With one notable exception. <laughs> Throw and shaded Olivia. Okay, well that's the same as before. What was here? Department store. They vary by region, but I've got six of them taken to heart. Interesting. I'd like to try some regional tea. That sounds good. Oh, I want someone to pamper me with tea now. That would be so good. <laughs> the Orphanian Ruin has had it rough. I mean, the mayor gets arrested, then the main building burns down. Okay, well, let's go to the place now. To the embassy. This is the embassy for the Calvert Republic. We're looking for a person named Zin. Oh, you're here to see Zin, are you? Have you actually met the man? First time I did out. <laughs> okay. I was like, holy crap! This ain't a man, he's a grizzly! But he's really friendly once you start talking to him. He even gave me a meat button when I told him I was hungry during my shift one day. <laughs> so maybe you see him. Ah, yes, sorry. He's actually stepped out again shortly after returning. Said he had some business to take care of. Looking for a place to meditate and prepare for the tournament or something like that. Well, when he left, he was headed for the herb scenic route. Yet, Old Forest Path has a feeling to it not unlike a park, and it being monster invested makes it a good training ground. To the road, I guess. Well, 
let's see. I bl um. I think this way is a tiny bit faster. Um. Okay, tons of earth sepa. Fire and gold, fire, earth, earth, lots and lots of earth. What what do I actually need? Well, my goal is sitting at almost zero, so I probably need some of that. I should at least have a couple of hundred of each. I'm probably not going to be able to get more wind easily based on the monsters I'm seeing here. But you know what? I can pad my wallet a little bit. Also, I still need to fill up Joshua's CP gauge. Okay, I leveled up. Nice. Probably fine. It actually feels like a bit of a problem that it's um, it's so many one ofs It feels like it's not worth my time to fight them. I imagine the Grand Slights have come here to stretch out and relax for a long time. I wonder just how long it's been here. Okay, so what I'm hearing is the monsters in here are actually worth fighting. I also recall, oh yeah, like these sharks have, are worth an absolute ton of Earth 7. If I remember right. Okay, no, I did not remember right, but you know what, it's, I still need time. So, but, and it was a good amount of experience, actually. Are you the one that has, I don't think so. I mean, usually bugs have wind, although I'm not sure anything in this area has wind, Seppa drops. Yeah, that wasn't really worth it. Not worth the trouble. Okay, Zin's not up here. Ooh, there's a box here, and also a monster that I will definitely not be able to beat. I mean, I did say. Found Tira Bomb. The chest is empty. I blame you. Good call, chest. You, you caught me.
Actually, how much water sepith do I have? Maybe I really shouldn't be fighting this shark. Joshua, don't miss. No, actually, I think water is fine. And I mean, honestly, I don't have anything in the territory where I feel like... where I would be completely happy with it. Have I fought that? Uh, water and time. Yeah, these are the ones that have the best drop rate, but I think mostly these are monsters in a box. Actually, say that. Oh, oh, I know what it is. This is the big one. The, the small fish. Wait, what is this now? Oh, oh, oh. The small fish is here. It's the big one that I want to be fighting. <laughs> but can I run into them? Are they random encounters? Well, this is three fish, so... And they take a little bit of damage on them. Oh, and there's the big one! Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage on this fight, but you know, at least I'm gonna get a lot of separate. for recovering my CP. Still better than dying, so I'm not even sure that's an uh, seven hundred. Um, okay. I can heal one of these guys enough to survive. Well, I mean, I've already dumped Joshua down to zero CP, so... Okay, it attacked Estelle. Good. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. That's that oh, look at all that experience, though! <laughs> but, uh, I really need a third party member if I'm gonna be fighting those things. And, uh, it's pretty lucrative to fight those things, so, you know, I think I probably want to. But, no, I'd, let, let's wait until we have another party member. <laughs> wow. Oh, whoops. Overspit there a little bit. Oh, well. It's not a big deal. You know, I bet... <laughs> I bet that this is where Zin is. <laughs> no, I guess not. Hmm. What? Who is that? Actually, really, who is this? Sister, it'll be alright. Stay back, it's too dangerous. I mean, is there some bees? I'm, I, I'm not too worried. In fact... Oh, no. No, Joshua, well, you're too slow. <laughs> That's not true. But you are a little bit slow using fire magic. So it feels not really worth it. I mean, this configuration screams... Well, it screams hurricane to me, actually. But I want to use Comet instead. It ran away? Well, that's annoying. That's that thing. Let's move out. Are you okay, sister? B yes, thank you. Um, who are you? We're with the Bracers Guild. We heard you scream while we were looking for someone. Are you okay? You don't look so good. No, thanks to you I'm fine. I'm Sister Ellen. Ellen, I perform my duties at Grantsla Cathedral. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> I must ask though, what is the clergywoman doing so far from Grantsla? Did no one accompany you? No, I came alone. Actually, we ran out of medicinal herbs for mixing at the cathedral. The shop was also out of stock, so I came here to pick some. It was not always so. There used to be none to speak of. It seems their number have greatly increased in recent days. That's a lot of bees. Well, bees with air quotes. I mean... Look. Just... Don't get me started. Bees don't look like that, okay? Bees do not have visible stingers unless they are literally about to sting something. Which, to be fair, these probably are... Also, though, bees are supposed to be fuzzy, and these are not fuzzy. Like, the fuzziness is actually an important distinction. 
in between bees and hornets because the fuzziness on bees make them much better pollinators. Ah, uh, but anyway. <laughs> but why don't we save the chit chat until we've dealt with the guests? Okay, we have Zin. Now we should be more okay with fighting. Okay, you've poisoned Zin. And he probably doesn't have any magic or anything equipped, I'm guessing. I don't know, we'll take a look, I guess. And you put in Joshua as well. Well, you know what? Um, two. I'm probably only gonna get two. Okay, magic wise, you do have some magic equipped. And let's see. Okay, you can just heal yourself. Huh. Okay. Well, go murder a bee. Not, I mean, look, the game calls it a bee, but it's not, it's not, it's. You know what? Just, just, just do it, Zen. Just, just do it. You missed. <sighs> Estelle, you're gonna need to save today, I think. Oh, you. <sighs> They're weak against fire. How are they on? I mean, okay. And hopefully this kills all of them, because, uh... Or most of them. That killed none of them! Okay, well... Wait, single target? Oh... I want to undo. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, well, you'll be fine at least. I am concerned about Estelle, though. Okay, well, admittedly, a whole lot of them running away does make... does alleviate my concerns for Estelle's safety. Although, it is also kind of disappointing to look, think of all the X XP and Seppa that I just lost out on. This <laughs> in his level 33! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I definitely need to do some leveling with Estelle and Joshua, I think. Man, oh man, worked up quite a sweat on that one. But honestly, I wasn't expecting to see you guys here. Didn't you have business in Zeiss? Oh, we handled that a while ago. I see. Which would mean that you managed to solve the kidnapping case. Well done. How's the redhead who got poisoned? Oh, pardon my rudeness. <laughs> ah! Zen. No! My illusion has been broken. Your mouths are open, guys. If you want me to tell... Do you want me to tell Kiyotika about this? I am uh, just making an objective observation. And what does Kielika have to do with this anyway? I truly appreciate you all coming to my assistance. You saved my life. No, no, please think nothing of it. 
just do my cams naturally. You there, what are you doing? Intelligence division. You're four people in an otherwise deserted area, discussing what appears to be a confidential topic. Highly suspicious behavior. What? We're with the Bracers Guild, Brancel Branch. We came to the aid of the sister here, who was under attack by monsters. I came here to gather her herbs, which those creatures when those creatures attacked me. Cal Calvardian martial arts. You're the guy in that competition fight solo, right? Just Oh You are so corrupt. Oh, but I... Estelle? Shush. We'll take care to avoid the royal villa, sir. You have our apologies for any inconvenience we've caused. Special Ops Soldiers, affiliated with the Royal Army's Intelligence Division. Skillful to be sure, but their strongest suit is their sneakiness. I ran into their team in the Martial Arts Competition. I was introduced to them then. Well, we should get back to the city before they decide that they would rather fight. Mm -hmm. So, that's how it is, eh? Tell me something, though. Why do you want to take part in the tournament? I mean, that is true. All right, let's do it. We can get you registered tomorrow, before the tournament begins. So no worries on that score. Hey, it'll give me a chance to see just how skilled you are. You just watch my back. It's no bother. I have been planning to enter as a silver competitor. But I suppose that having some help could improve my chances of overall victory. We, we're we still one person short of the requirement, though. Since we have to face four-person teams, one more would give us the best possible odds. No, if you really want to come out on top, you have to be prepared. A battle is waged well before the first blow is struck. seen this coming and here I was thinking you might never see your way clear to asking were you listening in on our conversation indeed I heard every tragic syllable therefore it seemed the appropriate time to make an appearance.
Mm-hmm. Replace no with can't get rid of, and that about covers it. Many call me Olivia of Lenheim, the wandering minstrel from Arbonia. It was Estelle and Joshua's pleasure to make my acquaintance on an earlier case. And ever since, we seem to keep running into each other. <clears throat> Zin Vathek, racer from Calvard and perpetual traveler of the Path of Wushu. I've enjoyed your piano playing. You do me a great honor, good sir. I have also heard tales of your prowess in the preliminary matches. Tell me, did you truly defeat a team of four entirely on your own? <laughs> Olivia, I'd like for you to verify something for me. By any chance, do you have a lot of spare time on your hands? And you say that I haven't changed, good Joshua. You were ever one for the pointed questions. It has been nearly a month since I came to Grenzel. I've traveled the length and breadth of the city, enjoying all the sights, except the castle. Those Boris soldiers would not allow me to pass. To be certain, there are other places that I'd like to visit, but I could not bear to leave with the birthday celebration so close. Now, what is this talk of a man short that I happen to hear? I have heard that the winner of this celebration competition <clears throat> will be invited to an extravagant dinner party. Surely, this can only be divine providence. I had, in fact, wondered if you might invite me to join you in this tournament. His specialty is Orbo Firearms, right? I think the team would work pretty well, would be pretty well served by a broad range of tactics. Oh my, this is a surprise. I presume you could tell from my walk and the musculature of my shoulders. That and the way your eyes move. A martial artist and swordsman each have distinct ways that attract their surroundings. You track for a specific point on any possible target. It's characteristic for someone who's familiar with small arms. I'll have to be more careful in the future, then. And in your eyes, do I pass muster for participating in the tournament with you? It would boot me straight to the hotel. Otherwise, I would have asked around a little bit more in the town before I left. Oh well. Estelle and Joshua, correct? I'm sorry to ask, but may I please see your identification as bracers? sister she broke up with her boyfriend. Okay, won't let me leave the building. But I can go invade the privacy of other paying customers.
Hmm. Okay, so he said on the left. Now, the left came up the stairs would be this room. But the left from my perspective would be this room. I guess we're about to find out. Well, no one was in there. Also empty. I guess we can use this for other base of operations, so to speak. At least until the competition is over. Estelle! Get your head out of the gutter! It occurred to me that this might be a little weird. But, uh, I mean, we're family, right? I might not be as dependable as Dad is. And I'm not as good a listener as Shara. But still, I'm your brother. And I want you to know that I'm there if you need support. Yeah, Stel, he's your brother! If there's ever anything bothering you, I just want you to know that you can always come to me to say it. I've been getting kind of a weird feeling for you lately. If I've got this all wrong, I'm sorry. You're just so you. As smart as you are, sometimes you can be so clueless. Thank you, but you don't need to worry. I know I've probably been acting kind of strange lately. It's not all that serious or painful. I'm just trying to sort my feelings out. So, I'll be okay. Just as long as you watch out for me. It's still kind of early, but do you want to turn in? Everything that's been going on has worn me out. And this seems like an excellent point to stop. The one second save. <laughs> so I guess five minute warning. <laughs> Like, if this was an LP, I would cut the episode right there. But since I'm streaming, I can't really do that. I need to wait until I can actually save. I certainly didn't save going into the hotel, so... <laughs> Good morning, young ones. Thank you for coming to meet us. It's no problem. I've been up anyway, preparing for the match today. Between checking out the weaponsmith, visiting all the stores, I've had a busy morning. Good morrow, my dear companions. What is this aroma? Battle? Conflict? No. Victory! Oh, what an enchanting perfume this time of day. Good morning. Looks like we're all here then. What you say we go ahead and get moving? For starters, I think we should go get the go to the equipment shop and get our gear in order. Hmm. Sounds good. For next time. I do want to just check one thing though. Okay. All of your all of your slots are unlocked. I was genuinely really worried that I hadn't unlocked all of these. Like, it would have been a problem. Oh, right. This. Uh, well. 
We'll work out how we're gonna assign things in here later. This this is a job for another day. By the way, actually, eighty compared to set really. Olivia got a really good gun at some point. Although he still has the least attack power of everyone. He is more of a caster though. Okay, anyway, like I said, we're gonna worry about this actually wait no. Sorry. There is one other thing I'm gonna take care of now because I will forget if I don't. <laughs> Okay. Now we are good to stop because I will remember to do orbman and equipment. I will not remember to change the, my S break. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, but save and until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic night. Bye.